Betsy Karos, I know you are uh, deeply familiar with the practices that work and the practices that don't work when it comes to, you, you both are able to assess uh, the performance gaps, and you've done a lot of work in terms of assessing um, what helps and what doesn't help. Could you talk, uh, part of what we're struggling with here is, is this uh, an issue that can be addressed successfully? I think the answer to that is yes, but I'd like to know um, what you think the answer is and if you could delineate some practices that you have found through your research um, that are helpful in addressing these uh, uh, various forms of uh, achievement gap. Uh, well, the first thing I would say is that that data matters. So Ron mentioned that we, we do quite a bit of investing and uh, we don't know what the end result is. We don't analyze data in a comprehensive way. Um, so I think what works are institutions that data in very proactive ways to change results. You heard earlier from Cal State Fullerton and they're actually one of the colleges that we profiled because they have a really aggressive agenda around closing the gaps. Um, if you're not analyzing what's happening at your institution by race, um, then how are you ever going to figure out solutions for addressing them? And so I, I think they're a perfect example of innovation in that process. We also profiled as we released the, the State of Higher Ed for Black Students in California, the Minority Male Community College Collaborative, which is an effort launched by two professors at San Diego State University that focuses on actual using research um, on what works for African American students and helping to evaluate and assess community colleges to implement practices that can help support completion um, for institutions. And they point out that a lot of the research is done in terms of what works for students at four-year universities. So I think you need really good data. You need leadership at institutions that care about closing the gaps and aren't afraid of, to talk about how they're going to close the gaps for students by race. And you absolutely need incentives um, that force them to do that. So we know statewide the Cal State has a California gradu uh, graduation initiative that is about closing the gaps. Um, I don't see how you change these results without doing that. And there's obviously the K-12 role.